Yo, what's up you guys, it's Gossa Dudes. Welcome back, bro, to Classic Clans. And dudes, we're here inside of my base. Wow, check it out, we've got the uh, autumn, autumn scenery. I wish I had the snow scenery on this account, but I don't. But guys, it is still uh, the winter season here and we are in CWL. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys a perfect war that happened. This is very rare, uh, at least in this, um, this league level in CWL with this team that I'm in. But uh, they've actually, every base was three starred and not one star was taken from them on the enemy team. So we're gonna get into that to dudes. Check it out, let's go into CWL. Here is the base. Check this, these are a level 16 clan. Now the only reason I can think of, of why this happened is either this clan wants to go down in um, points, they wanna go down in cups, or they just gave up. But they, they did try, I mean, you know, they did attack. Let's see down here. Yeah, they got 20% over there, 20 over here. But every base was three-starred on this side. Really epic. So we're going to just look at some of these attacks here and um, see this final attacks. So let's check out some of the last attacks in the CWL. Let's check it. We've got uh, Glenn Quagmire going in. Now guys, this is actually the end here. We've got only a couple minutes left and then the war is over. I'm gonna be showing you the three stars and we've got one final attack that could call it. If this guy doesn't get a two star, then it's over. They lose and they don't get first place. Art of War is done. So let's check it out. We've got the um, Grand Warden going in, doing a Warden walk here. This is a really interesting base. And guys, I must say, with uh, the new meta, I'm seeing a lot of interesting attacks. And it seems like the um, Super Wizard is probably top tier. Very top tier. And I'll be doing a video on this pretty soon. I'll be showing you guys some of the attacks that they've got. But enough of that. Let's see what's happening with uh, this attack here. You'll, st you'll still see that the Yetis are... Uh, still a priority troop. We still have lots of yetis and bowlers. They're not done. The meta is still kind to these troops. Which is interesting. The yeti, when he came on the scene, guys, he's been like um, a uh, player favorite. And you'll see a lot of people using yetis, which uh, I actually use them too. But now I'm transitioning over back to P.E.K.K.A. I think yetis are great. But P.E.K.K.A.s, they just have that uh, higher hit point. So I need that that uh, more hit points, and you can back them up with bowlers or witches, and they get the job done. So Pekka's are back in for me. I'm switching uh, Yetis out for Pekka's. So check this out. This is like a big wave of bowlers and Yetis coming in. Got the jump spell. Look like you can almost say like zombie troops because they're like slowly walking towards the target. Destroy. Yeah, the bowlers and yetis walk through and stuff. Okay, so there they go. They still have a little bit of juice left in them. The momentum is dying down, but they still have one ability. The queen has her ability. Let's see if uh, these um, these healers can keep them alive. Baby dragons over there doing the thing. They're outside. That's the one problem with these bases. They make it a little easy for these troops to go in and out. And I could probably, like, if this jump spell didn't reach that other wall right there, I would assume that they would, you know, be slowed down and wouldn't be able to walk through these bases, uh, through these walls like this and take out all these weapons. So that's kind of like the drawback to having um, an anti-queen walk base. But got the job done. Three star there. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, bros, we've got Dark Reaper. Check it out. Dark Reaper. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. All right, Queen Walk it is. Now look at this uh, troop combination we've got. More Yetis and Bowlers. We've got two Hogs. That's probably for the Royal Champion or to bait something. Probably wants to bait the CC. Well, let's see what happens here. Raid spelled up. I'm assuming he didn't want the Queen to go uh, left like this because the healers were on the other side there. They take one for the team. Oh, and they get hit by the, uh, the town hall. Ooh. She has to pop her ability. 
So the queen uses her ab ability prematurely right there. And does she get the town hall? She does. The healers are still up, though. That's great. Can they still? Oh, they're going for the troops. Okay, the queen gets a little bit of health back. So she's still alive. She lost her ability. Gosh, look at that, dude. The queen got al almost all of her health back from it. Almost dying to getting all of her health back. Ah, uh, and let's see here. Here come the hog riders. Ah. So they were to help out with the royal champion. There we go. This was nice. The queen's gonna go down. Did she go down? I think she's down already. And the Yeti is gonna take out that other um, scatter shot over there. She takes it out. And now it's down to uh, the Grand Warden and the Royal Champion. She is about to pop her ability. Wow, that was a lot. She's going for the last scatter shot here. Very nice. Once she gets close enough, she really won't take too much damage. The Wizard Tower goes down. Hog Riders are taking some of the shots. Wow, they're really tanking for that. Very nice. Oh, that was like the last throw, but it didn't make it. And there you have it. We've got uh, just, actually, it's only like one Archer Tower left. That's actually a threat, though, because the Grand Warden, I don't think he'll go for that cannon. He's going to try and support the troops. But maybe the Wizards will go for it and protect the Grand Warden here. Okay, now he's going to go for it. He's the Grand Warden. He might go down. He's down. Okay, wow, this is bad. But. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if there's like a bomb, this is over. If there's one bomb over here, this is done. All these wizards have no health. Okay, I think they're lucky. Wow, very good. Nice. There's a three star, bros. We've got another three star. And, you know, it seems like uh, the Yeti Bowlers are in. Let's actually just go ahead and check out a three-star from the enemy side here. This was the top attack from the enemy players. And look at this. You know what I think they're using? They're probably using the... Um... Oh, wow. They're using the... Invisible Star. What is this? I wonder what we got planned here like an interesting attack well we got the uh, golems and the super wizards this is a nice fan favorite if you're um, just getting the new meta this is what people are using now because the wizards they have such good like range man. look at that that's better than the the e-drag oh my gosh all right so Log Launcher's taking out some of that Town Hall there. It actually might even just do the trick. Look at that dude. The Log Launcher and four Eat Earthquake spells. God. It took it out. Let that be known. The Log Launcher can do it. Alright, so Super Wizards are still on a tear over there. Royal Champion's in. She's going to try and take out this... Uh, Oh, she gets taken off of the uh, town hall. Or the, I'm um, sorry, the uh, infernal tower. And she's about to go down. <laughs> okay, she's getting some shots in. She takes out a lot of value. She did a lot of value there. And uh, you know what? That's actually pretty nice. Hitting the royal champion with the, um, the invisible spell was pretty nice. The queen lost her ability. She's going to have to take out the pirate king. If she gets close enough. This is actually a pirate attack. Very nice. So, this actually taught me something from this attack, dude. Did you see that? Like, four earthquakes and that log launcher can take out the town hall. That is awesome. I'm going to have to try that out. But that was a perfect war. So... There you have it. That's the last thing. They're going to take out the CC. And let's see our last attack before this war ends. Who's going to do it? Let's go for the live attack. Okay, bros. Here we go. Attack's going in. He's got the queen up and ready. Going to try and funnel to get to this sweeper. The sweeper is going to try and push the blimp out of the way. He's got to get the blimp in for the two-star. 
but let's see if he can do it. He's going pretty well. He's gonna play it very safe. Which is all he needs is a safe attack. Here come the troops. And the queen might go down if he's not watching. not watching. Okay, he's being very cautious here, but he's not. Let's see what happens. The troops might funnel into the town hall, so he might not even need the uh, blimp. There he goes. Good stuff. Okay, he's done. Now he just has to get the safe two star. Ooh, this could be bad. We need five percent. Five percent. This is bad. Okay, two percent. He might have it. Yeah, there he goes. He's got the two star. Nice. Nice. That's it. That's all he needs. Just that two star. He didn't really have too many um, supporting troops for a cleanup, but that's fine. He's got one wizard. And that's it, guys. They won. They win the war. Good stuff. Awesome. 60%. If he one starred, he he would need a um, 82%. So that would that would have cost the match. But he did it. Two star, 61%, and actually, that's actually the game. They get first place. They get first place. Nice stuff. Okay, guys. Awesome. I think he's just gonna let it rock. <laughs> yeah. Well done. A lot of pressure. Yes, it was. This guy had to get one, one uh, or two stars with a base that is a counter two star. With the base is usually in the middle like this, it's a lot of pressure for people not to mess up. And uh, usually that's why you see a lot of people using blimps and the warden ability to get to the town hall there. But pulled it off. Look at that. The woods is going to clean up that gold. That's it. They're going to help out the Holy Wizard. All right. Let's see if he could actually take on this Royal Champion. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is the uh, the end of the CWL. It's been an awesome week. And, of course, with that, I will be finishing up my terrible Town Hall 13 series because uh, we've got the medals, we've got the loot, and everything's awesome. So, guys, thank you, dude, so much for watching. Still 27 minutes left over in the attack, but that's it. They win. They've gotten 290. Unless these guys still have another attack going. Not sure, but I think they don't. Yeah, they're done. 15 attacks. Yeah, that's it. Okay, dudes. So, again, I will see you dudes on the next episode. Gotsen out.